Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. I've got Happy Mail to share with you. Yes, a big box of Premier Yarn arrived today. Reeves picked it up from the post office for me and brought it home tonight. I was expecting a parcel from Premier Yarns. It was sent to me by Janet Lepre, in, um, my yarny friend in the US. She sent me an email saying to expect it, uh, but I wasn't quite expecting a box this size. Now, Reeves has split open the top. He's also rummaged through it and taken out the packing slip because they said there are prices on there you don't need to see, which I thought was really thoughtful of him because this is a yarny gift from Janet. So shall we open it? Because everybody knows how much I love Premier Yarn and I am getting really low very very low so first of all I can see Christmas yarn wow four balls of premium basic multi in the color Mary I had used the last of my Christmas yarn and she has sent me four more isn't that awesome I just love it it's so soft this yarn it is just so nice I've just put I don't know where to put things because I've got other things I want to show you now I really like the everyday anti-pilling DK and I'd say she has sent me some more there are three balls in I have to try and see the color without my glasses if I can find my glasses here we go This is, da -dum, da -dum, I'm looking for a colour, Peach Blossom. It's a great colour. I like that a lot. Three balls of that. There is three more balls in Aqua. This is my second favourite colour after orange. That's developed over this year. There's three balls of that. And there are six balls in white. I think she must have a project in mind for me. A big project. It's beautiful. Doesn't it end there, folks? I'll just put some of it back. Wow. There is six balls of the DK prints in just peachy. I'm not taking it out of the plastic. I'm going to leave it in the plastic. We've had a bit of dust flying around here at home at the moment. That is awesome. Absolutely. That is so much yarn, Janet. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. We've gone to a lot of trouble to get this to me. Oh, wow. You really are very generous and very kind, and I thank you very much. Um, I'm going to leave them in the plastics as I said um, it's a bit dusty around this end of the house at the moment it's near the front door um, Ding has started a project he had been just for about a year talking about replacing this side fence which is rotting and keeps falling over and he's decided he's going to do it himself he's done quite a bit but it does stir up a bit of dust. The neighbours next door, he did offer to help him, but they've got three young kids. He works long hours, and on weekends he's running the kids around to sport, which reminds me the eldest son broke his leg, leg badly last week, so bad it had to have surgery. So that's even more for them, and um, we haven't asked them to share costs because they do do it a bit tough, but... Yes, he's stirring up a bit of dust and I will be glad when he finishes it. So everything in my yarn stash is kept covered and it's these are staying in the plastic because they're far too valuable to get covered in dust. On the weekend, thing took a, he doesn't do the fencing on the weekend because it means it's open between the properties. And with the three kids in the pool and that, it's not very good. So he only does it during the week. So on the weekend, we went up to Coranda, which is a village 
geared towards tourism. It is, if you live in the Karanda area, you're usually into a bit of a alternative lifestyle, so to speak. And the village is tourism based, which has really suffered this year because we have a lack of tourists in the area. I like to go up there because there's one particular shop I like to buy Christmas decorations from. And I like to have a look around to see what else I can see and support them to keep them going. So the shop I go to gets in handmade decorations. Now they are a little exy. Um, they're not your everyday um, decorations and they are unique. I'll show you one of them. The others I bought are for gifts and this may even end up being a gift but I really love it and don't want to part with it. Um, so the, they do wooden ones which are generally kangaroos and koalas and Christmas themed. Um, they're hand carved wooden ones and they have these ones which are my absolute favourites. These are made out of metal and they're made in Sydney. That is an angel with a bell. I just think they're absolutely beautiful and I really like giving them as gifts. They come in a little gift box, which is really nice. So that's just one of the ones I bought. It's the same shop I bought a picture from last year for my son in London. And yeah, I do like going up there. And it's not to say I won't go up there again before Christmas. And because they are doing it tough, one of the ladies at the front of her shop had tubs of yarn for sale, her yarn stash. And I decided even though I don't need it, I can donate it to charity. I did buy some. Now these are partially used balls of Red Heart Super Saver. Um, she was selling it really cheap just to generate a bit of an income. And I bought those. And I bought a Marvel 8-ply in red. This one that I like to use. This red is great for poppies. And for us, Remembrance Day is in November. So, And I do like to make poppies. So there, I bought those three off her. Um, we bought other stuff, but mainly gifts that I don't really want to share. One of the highlights was that the Rainforest Station which is just outside of Karanda. They're not opening on Sundays. It's not worthwhile. And they do have Indigenous dance groups there. And we were walking around the streets of the Karanda and the kids from the Indigenous um, dance group were busking. And I did take 20 second video of them. They were awesome. They were generating themselves quite a bit of income on Sunday. I'll put that 20 second video at the end for you guys to watch. Um, it was just lovely to see that even though they're not doing their normal show on Sundays, they're um, motivated enough to get out there and earn themselves a bit of pocket money busking. I just loved it. And it was a great day out. We took Saxon with us. Um, he's still a handful. <laughs> Don't go down that road. Anyway, guys, to Janet, thank you so much. I am really surprised this made it through. Today I got an email from uh, Barbara Leinhardt and she had sent me a postcard and it had been returned to her. Now, US suspended deliveries to Australia um, when Melbourne and Sydney went into massive lockdowns, the backlog of mail and parcels was just too much. And unfortunately, her postcard was returned to her. But Premier's big box of yarn arrived. Go figure. I know um, Australia FedEx, I've checked them out. They're still suspended. They're not delivering to Australia. And when I went into the post office earlier this week, I asked the ladies and she said, you can mail parcels to the US. We just can't guarantee when they'll get delivered. The other thing about the post office is one of the ladies is learning to crochet. She's always curious about the stuff that I get through the mail. This lady I met through the, my job, through the fund years ago. Her daughter was a promising cyclist. She could have gone to the Olympics. And she was out training one day when she was hit by a car and killed. Because she was young, the fund I work for, they fundraise a lot of money 
in her name. And yes, she works at my post office. So I thought because my friend Janet was so generous, I'm going to pay it forward. Um, I know she hasn't tried some of the Karen yarn and other yarns we talked about. So I'm going to give her a little gift pack of some yarn and help her get her stash on the way. And yes, not this, not the Premier. No, no, that doesn't go anywhere. That's for me. That, that's precious. But yes, I have other yarns that I have bought and I'm going to do up it like a little gift bag and take it into her. Because I like to promote fibre heart art and I like to hear that people are learning to crochet or knit. So guys, I hope you watched the 22nd video of the little boys dancing and, and playing the didgeridoo. It was a fun day out. And Janet, you are just too generous and too kind. Words fail me. Thank you so much for sending me this yarn. To everyone else, please take care and stay safe. And remember, life's an adventure and you could have a premier yarn adventure with me. Bye for now. Okay, how old is he? I'll do 20 seconds.